Hey everybody, welcome to Joomla Training. This is Ryan, and today we're going to talk about uh, iframes and wrappers within the Joomla interface. It's actually pretty easy to be able to house another uh, .com name uh, within an article or within uh, the Joomla wrapper. So let's talk about uh, let's talk about that for a second. A couple, uh, there's a couple ways to handle it. Uh, the first let's talk about is the Joomla wrapper. And so the way you create a Joomla wrapper is that so we're going to actually go to Menus, Main Menu, all right? And what we're going to do is just on the Ryan Dorn uh, website, we're just going to create new. And you'll notice right down here, there's a thing called wrapper. What this is going to do is allow us to be able to put, uh, you know, some type of uh, URL. We're going to use Google, and we're going to put it within uh, our website template, okay? So we're going to link the menu is going to be called Google. Over here on the right, the wrapper URL is just going to be called Google.com. Okay, and there's all kinds of parameters you can set. Do you want scroll bars, yes or no? How big do you want it, et cetera, et cetera. We're just going to link it uh, right here off the, uh, right off the RD blog on the main page. Let's click Save. Let's go back over here to my website and click Refresh. And then obviously here right underneath RD blog is the Google link, and so we're going to highlight that. And then you'll notice uh, what happens is that it's, uh, it's automatically going to pull it right back here in the interface. And so you can see right here, then it just basically is going to pull Google within, to, within my template. And then it's got scroll bars, so you can go up and down, and you can go right and left. Okay. Now you might say, okay, well, I don't want it to be appearing from the menu item. That's fine. Um, what you'll notice at the top is that I, I have a URL that's already generated up here at the top. So I can highlight that URL, and I can cut and paste and use that, and then just go into the menu manager, and I can just um, unpublish uh, that menu item. Okay. The second way is to use actual iframe HTML code. So what I've done here is I've just opened up a regular article, and we can just call it, uh, you know, for example, just uh, you know, test uh, article. And then what I'm going to do is I need to actually write HTML code. So at the bottom of this screen here, I'm just going to toggle my editor, and I'm going to use standard and iframe HTML code, which allows me to basically uh, put this, put somebody else's uh, .com name or another page here right within a particular article. So here's the code right here. It's um, simply the iframe SRC, and then you're able to set the width and the height, okay? And within this iframe SRC, you're able to then put whatever .com name you want. So if we wanted to do the same thing that we just did before, we would just um, you know, go ahead and put google.com in there, and then we would adjust the height and the width. And this is a really nice way if you want to just incorporate an iframe within an actual uh, Joomla article um, itself. Now keep in mind, there's a ton of different ways to incorporate iframes um, into your Joomla website. What I typically do is I would just go you know, over uh, to Google, and what I would do is I would just type in iframe, uh, iframe HTML code, and it's going to give you all kinds of different uh, examples of iframe code, and you can kind of test and uh, tweak from there to base you know, your different preferences. All right. So basically, we've got two ways. One, you can use the iframe HTML code, just toggle your editor back and forth, and uh, you can put that code you know, right there within your page. Or the other way is to go over like we did in this example and use uh, the Google Wrapper, which allows you to put an iframe uh, directly uh, within your Google template, basically just using a wrapper. So I hope that helps. Joomla is great, and I hope that you'll really use it uh, for all the benefits. It's there for you. Have a great day. This is Ryan Dorn from Brainswell Media. Thanks so much for checking us out.